Hey, this is Jenny Jones, Small Business SaaS Use Case TV. In this video, what I wanna do is take you through how to make a basic SAM card landing page look like this. So we're gonna go through, I'm gonna take you through each step, each section, and show you how to build it out and show you how to uh, put together a nice landing page for your course. Now, if this is your first time to this channel, please go ahead and like and subscribe. I'm always showing people how to do different things to their, to their web pages and to the, help them use different tools. And of course, we are powered by SAS Use Case TV. All right, one of the first things you're gonna do once you get inside SAM card is you're gonna go to um, products, right? You're gonna click on products, but you start your new product from here. You, you always try to figure out what do you wanna do first. So for this one, we're gonna make a course and uh, we'll just call it course one, right? And then what we'll do is say, hey, my new course, right? And we want this to be a, uh, just a one-time payment is what we're gonna do here. Call it one-time payment and we'll charge, I don't know, uh, 97 bucks for it, right? And so that's what you do. You, you, uh, you set up your pricing first. You do have the option here to have recurring limited subscription or pay what you want, right? Um, I'm gonna do another video on tell you the power of pay what you want. I'm gonna show you that later, or you may be able to click up above. I think I may have already done it, or you can look in the description or some of the other links that I have for a SAM card. So again, we're gonna do a one-time payment here and we're gonna create our product. All right, so once you get over to product details, um, it can seem a little overwhelming, but again, if you, 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 you can only eat an elephant one leg at a time, so it's best to just go through step by step. And so what I do is I don't get into everything here. I just kind of do a quick look through here. There is one important thing if you are going to do a course. This is the one thing that catches everyone. This is the one thing that snags everyone. So. Let me give it to you and this is what happens here. So what happens is on an order redirect destination. So once a person makes their $97 purchase, you want to send them somewhere. So you here you have ordered summary and then you have custom uh, URL. What you have to do is you have to make this product course one, you have to actually make it an actual course at the same time. So once you do that, it'll redirect and it'll take them to the course. Let me show you how to do that. This is magic. This is gold right here. So I'm gonna go back through that with you. Um, so let me, yeah, let's go ahead and do that first. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to apps and then you're gonna go to course app, right? And that's where all your courses are at. So once you get inside course app, you're gonna go here and you're gonna say, let me create a new course. And the way this works is the way I create a new course is I come here, but what I want to do is this is the key right here, assign products to this course. So you're going to go assign products and then it's going to say, assign a course to the basic tier. You're going to go assign products here and you're going to go down. It's probably more likely one of the first ones you did and we'll go course one and we'll go add and we'll go add course one. Cause that's the course that we created and we're going to go save here. So we'll come back later and get all of this again. This has our $97 there. So we're going to go back um, and we're going to go back and look at our, uh, we'll come back later and I'll probably do another course. I'll do another class and show you how to set up your own course. But what we'll do is we'll go back and we'll look at products and we'll finish building this out, this template. Okay, so now that we're back here, again, you're gonna fill out all of these different things. This is internal. You'll put an upload of picture here, 250 by 250. Kind of gives you a thumbnail of what your products are. You upload that if you want. I wouldn't do that yet. I would come back and hit all of these details as I finish up, but what I wanted to show you was on our order summary, now we can click here. Now we have course auto enroll, right? Course auto enroll, so you see now we have that selection. So now it's gonna automatically enroll them into the course. This is a tricky piece. We're gonna automatically enroll them into the course once we're done. So let's go over to the checkout design and let me show you how I pick my designs when I want to look at my different courses. So again, at the top, top you just have simple basic checkouts there. There's just putting a credit card and so on and so forth. You can pick what you want there, people off. So let me show you, and these are the different courses, but since we're making a course, right? Let's go 
This is one of the ones they came out with for the course. Um, this is the one that I like using. So we're going to take, we're going to select this one right here and we're going to go through and we're going to build it out. Okay. So again, that's one of the things you need to be careful of your checkout depends on how it looks. So let's look at this one. This, these boxes, um, as you look at that one, you guys get that. We're going to go with that. All right. And so let's take a look at it and see how it looks. Let's build it out. All right, so once you click on design, you start from the top and you go all the way down the bottom, filling in the blanks and replacing the pages that you still want, right? And so what I did for the page that I built and I wanna be able to sh uh, show you is, I start from the top and what I, I probably do is I'll accent all my buttons first. I'll go in and I'll, I'll save all my different buttons Right, I'll, I'll put in the different colors that I want. If it's blue, it's blue. A lot of times I'll just do this. I'll copy the code and take the code color. Then I'll go through and I'll, I'll make every last one of those that same color code. I'll go here and then I'll change the color code here. Right, and I'll go through and I'll change each color code. So get your shell down first, right? And then you can always go back and put here, this is what we call copy. So this is your copy here, right? How do you want to um, build your beginners or so on? These are the different pieces here. And one of the things that I like to do is like I said, I go through and fill in the colors. So in the preparation, you have to feel you find out a hero banner here. You want to replace this picture one of the how you want to replace that is let me give you an example of how i replaced mine so i'll go there this is kind of tricky at first because if you want to change the image you can change the image with something that you are you may already have here right but if you want to upload from your computer you have to delete here and this is the tricky part about it you have to delete this one here I always start with a hero because it kind of gives it a little clean look at the top so let me just change the image so you can just kind of see how that works. So I will change the image, try to find something here already. Um, real image here just for this demo here. But what you're going to notice is there's these, the text here is blue. Um, for this particular case, I'll just delete um, the text that I have here. So I don't need this. So I'll just hit the, the little delete button here or the trash can and it'll remove that block. So what I have here is guitar for beginners, right? I'm just using you an example of how you want to change that. So you can you can um, change that. Then you go down to the next block. So these different blocks, these are different sections. So work in each one of your sections and work all the way down. Um, so this particular section, again, I wanna change this and make this blue. So I'll highlight that, go over here to the A and I'll, select this here make that blue right so then i need to switch out my whatever photo i'm going to use in my prepping i'll probably put another video on there and show you some of the things that i use to to do some of my prepping of setting up my photos so again you're going to go through you're going to change those you're going to make those blue each section go by each section and if you go by each section one by one you're going to go through each section right? One by one. You need to make something bigger, right? You want to change the headline. If I want to duplicate this section, I can just click this button right here. This button is going to duplicate this section. See there? And that's what that button did. So each one of these buttons, this is going to move the section up. This is going to move the section back. And this is going to give you the settings of each section here. Okay. All right, so what we've added here, we've added two sections here. We don't need two. So let's go to this section. We're gonna click on this section and we're gonna click on the trash can and we're gonna remove that select sex. Boom, okay, so this is the course breakdown here. If we wanted to add another course here, so what we do is we come here and we'd highlight this particular row here and we create another row, okay? So that's 
you know, you have two, three, four, and then we'd have to replace this and make this five. All right. And then, um, and this is not, you know, six hours. We'll make this one two hours, right? But we have to go through and make these, all these highlighted sections. We want to make those blue. Like we first said that we would do. So all those become blue. This becomes blue. You highlight it. This becomes blue as well. All right. And so you take that and what you'll do is you'll re remake this and you'll turn this into blue as well. And then you replace this image here. You click on that. And of course you can change the image there. Uh, let me put in one of my images so you can just kind of see, um, and I'll use that image and I replace it with that image. Right. And then you just replace your images. And so this right here, as we kind of close up, let me kind of show you how this works. This is a testimonial section. You can have your different styles here. This whole section is this testimonial section. So to replace that, that actual whole section is. So this particular uh, section here, this is just a section here, and this is a testimonial section. So you find those here and you drop in your widget here to change out the testimonial section. All right. And you, you swap that here. But when you're here, you can change the different types of style that you want on your testimonial section. You can say, Hey, I have a single person here, or I want a carousel banner to show at least two testimonials, or I just want one separate one there or one separate one. And you can also, this we have here in this particular section, as we have there as a testimonial section. So then you get to this section. And you do a recap of what it is that you were trying to sell. And you're going to always, every so many, every so many, um, as a person scrolls down, you want to always give them an opportunity to enroll now. To enroll now, you see it once. Enroll now, you see it there. And you see it here, at least three calls to action. Okay. And that's how you do that. Um, I'll come back later and I'll show you how I make the, um, the person once they enroll, it goes automatically into the course and all set up. So then you have your instructor session here. This is me and I want to change this change image, right? I'll put my, I'll drop my image in there. Right. And I can just change that up and do that. Okay. And there you have it. And so that's, those are the easier steps. I'm gonna come back and do a little bit. I'm probably immediate intermediate and then probably do some more steps there that you can show. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see me um, do a demo on and I'll go through that for you. Please like and subscribe. I'm always trying to help people um, put themselves in a better position when it comes to using their, their actual tools. Um, we are powered by SAS Use Case TV. Uh, goodbye for now.